Hey guys, it's been super long time because I've had huge issues trying to edit video on my laptop actually. I just managed to get the tarot ones done because they're really simple and they usually one clip straight through. But yeah, I was having all sorts of weird issues with the laptop crashing when I was running the software. And <laughs> yeah, so I've had a few attempts at making this video, but it seems to be okay, fingers crossed, um, hopefully. It'll work this time. But yeah, no, it's been really a time for me over Christmas and New Year, just mostly working because it's a really busy time of the year. And I've done a few things on the truck. I replaced the um, the roof, the plastic on the back um, the other day. Um, you know, that, that clear corrugated plastic stuff. I did that and did a bit of sprucing up on the bench tops, did a bit of rust proofing underneath you know just odds and sods really and so yeah I've done a few jobs like that but basically yeah it's been pretty hot so I haven't done that much during the day really just yeah work pretty much it's a busy time of the year for me around Christmas New Year but yeah um, yesterday I got a ride with my neighbour to visit the extravaganza fair which I really really enjoyed because I've never been um, it's a fair that broke away from the original Gypsy Fair quite a few years ago, and I was with them then. And, um, yeah, so they created another fair that seems to happen every few years with fairs, you know, one breaks off and creates a new one. And, yeah, but I'd never been to have a look. So finally it kind of worked out, and my neighbours said, you, you know, do you want to go? And it was like, okay, cool, yeah, it'd be nice to have a look. So... I shot a little bit of footage, it's all with my phone, because I didn't want to wander around there with a big camera in my hand. It always makes people feel a bit sort of on edge, I guess. So yeah, I got a bit of phone footage, had a lovely catch up with a few people. Um, really enjoyed that, um, people I hadn't seen for years, and one particular person I actually hadn't seen for probably about 28 years, and didn't really know that well back then. It was more through a friend of mine, but it was quite incredible. I bought this beautiful cushion cover off her <laughs> and I looked at her and I said what, what's your name and she told me and I went oh, I thought so yeah so that was pretty incredible <laughs> she was um, in a relationship with my friend's brother years ago so yeah it was pretty amazing running into her a couple of other people I used to travel with with the gypsy fair years ago it was beautiful to have a look at the the creativity and the artwork and the different things there apparently some were away at a festival so they weren't all there but it was still it was cool and, and seeing Carlos plays music I hadn't seen that for years so that was fun um it was really really nice I really thoroughly enjoyed it very friendly very happy feeling good feeling everybody seemed to be in a good space so so that was pretty cool so yeah I got that cushion cover and some white sage to burn a chopping board which was ridiculously well priced in a spring for Zoe because one thing that really excited me and when I was p part of the team running the Gypsy Travellers Fair it used to be a committee of us who used to run the Gypsy Travellers Fair before I joined the Gypsy Fair um, I was always trying to talk people into having a stall for pet things you know pet toys, pet wear, pet, pet accessories, all of that stuff and nobody wanted to do it and there bingo there was a lady doing it, young woman and I was so excited and I bought Zoe a little spring toy, they're apparently very popular but she hasn't been too excited about it since but yeah it was really neat to see everything they had there and the vehicles, um, yeah I love how Carlos's truck has evolved since I last saw it you know there's new knickknacks and new little decorations and bits and pieces on it so it was cool to see that um yeah it was just really really fun I really enjoyed it um it got me out of this space of just sitting and working all the time you know which was really good <laughs>
Well, you can sort of see it. I'm not going to go outside now because it'll, it's so sunny. But yeah, it's much, much clearer. I've got slightly tinted, slightly tinted um, grey clear stuff. It wasn't the cheapest out there, but then the cheapest only lasts about a year or two. So I got the stuff. It was about 50, $54 a sheet and I needed three. So that wasn't too bad. And did that, which is awesome to have that done. Because the old stuff was all yellow and it just looked disgusting. So yeah, and it was brittle. So wrap to get that done. No matter how slow I walk, there's traces and empty spaces and the doors unlocked. It was fun. I was happy to do that. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I got back and had a flat tyre so that turned into a bit of an epic situation it was a bit annoying because I just had them pumped up the day before on my way home I went found a tyre place they did all my tyre pressures and then the day after one of my rear jewels went flat and I know I can't manhandle that spare tyre on my own it's just too blooming heavy it's in this weird bracket underneath like with a weird nut on it and oh, it's just horrible so I thought oh well I pay AA every year I'm going to give them a call out and they seem to go out and that was all good but um yeah no what a pig of a job you know getting the tyre off and all of that normal but then dealing with that spare which we got out and that wasn't a problem but then getting the other tyre back into the spare holder which I really wanted it in there because I don't particularly want to live with a tyre in here until I go and get my puncture fixed <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to get it up the steps myself, they're too heavy. Um, that we crawled around under there in the dirt and tried jacks and I got blocks of wood and jammed them under it. I borrowed some out of the woodshed here and... Um, yeah, I was just, I was just absolutely stuffed after that, you know, it's so heavy and so awkward and every time we got this stupid bracket up a bit, the tyre would slip and fall out and yeah, it was about an hour of wrestling with this tyre. The poor guy, he he looked pretty knackered too and very dirty afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh god but anyway it's done the spare's on for now and I'll go back down and see the guys who did the tire pressures and see if it's got a puncture or if the valve malfunctioned after they were pumped up I actually borrowed the neighbours who's got a little tiny compressor and no I didn't pump my whole tire up with it I would have overworked it I put 20 psi in and then squirted some soapy water on the valve and it didn't appear to be leaking, so because I thought, well, if it's a valve, we'll just do that. But no, 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 it wasn't leaking, so it's, yeah. So anyway, sometime this week when I'm not working, I'll trundle back down to that tyre place and, and see what the boys there say, and they can get that tyre out from underneath. Poor guys. I've really got to figure out a way to make that system easier. It's so, so annoying. Um... It's the hardest part of changing a tyre on this truck is the spare and getting things into that bracket and up. It's so heavy and so awkward and like my first bus had a windy handle and a chain and that was relatively easy, you know. But this thing is just <laughs> horrible. I've even thought of because I don't really ride my bike very often, getting rid of the bike and getting somebody to weld some studs onto my bull barn, actually putting putting the um, spare on the front. Hmm, I might have to look at that a bit more, because it's just painful, it's just such a nuisance. Um, yeah, so, so that was last night's entertainment. How to improve the system. Like with a little trolley jack, it's not too bad, you can stick it under there and crank the thing up. But getting it back into that hook thing is really hard like every time we lifted up the brake at the tyre would 
slide sideways and fall out. So I've had other Thai guys do it and they were quite good at it but you know it really is not the easiest system so yeah that undoes there and then you drop it down and then you roll it out. So yeah that's my flat tyre. My super sexy spare which is as disgusting as anything <laughs> um, because it's been under the truck you know it's just filthy. I suppose I could give it a wash so it's a little bit cleaner when it goes back under there but when I go to the tyre place basically they have to get that one out pull it out check out why it's going flat fix it and then put that one back under there so yeah but they'll have a trolley jack at the shop no doubt so hopefully it'll be a bit easier so yeah, if anybody's got any brilliant ideas on how to make that system easier, because I don't actually like half-killing tyre guys, you know. He was pretty, breathing pretty hard wrestling that tyre, and I was in a lot of pain. Like, I had cracked ribs recently, I fell out of my loft. Oh yeah, I haven't updated you about that, have I? So yeah, um, yeah, it wasn't fun, and it'd be nice to come up with a solution to make that easier. Yeah, the cracked ribs one was hard case. Um, I woke up early hours of one morning. It's the night after my birthday, actually. No, I wasn't drunk at all. Um, not one bit. And I um, went to go to the toilet, and I don't know what happened. I was half asleep. Whether I got my foot caught in the duvet or something, but I went head first down my loft steps and landed with the edge of the steps right in the middle of my back and it was hellishly sore like I couldn't stand up for ages I was just on the floor <laughs> trying to get upright and it was very very sore and it didn't improve in a hurry so I finally went to the doctor who sent me in for an x-ray and I had two cracks in my ribs so that was pretty painful for a bit. So I didn't do much for a while after that. Nothing heavy anyway. <laughs> there was pretty much time to heal and relax and have some time. But I still feel like it's my back is out. So I might have to go and see an osteopath or something. I feel like, yeah, I keep getting headaches because yeah, all my muscles up there are really tight. It's, it's getting better. So I've been giving it a chance just to heal and doing now doing some stretches and trying to get it sorted but I just feel like it's not quite where where it's meant to be so that hard knock that hard whack um yeah I wonder if it's misaligned something you know yeah I'll get it checked out if it doesn't improve soon but yeah so that sort of slowed me down for a while too it was pretty uncomfortable so that was my Christmas adventure <laughs> Yeah, it kept me sort of staying put too because driving was actually really painful. Like for the first couple of weeks, just going to town was extremely uncomfortable. So, <laughs> yeah, it was just cruise mode, just working, which was fine. My chair is really comfortable, so that helped a lot. Um, yeah, and just wandering around gently. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's where I crashed down from. Somehow I managed to go down head first hit my head on that and then flip and whack my back on that edge. Um, <laughs> it wasn't particularly nice experience. Um, so yeah, I have to make a point of being properly awake before I climb out of there. But look, I've had this truck for like 21 years this February, like right now, 21 years I've had this old girl. And that's never happened before, so <laughs> it was a fluke. But yeah, a lesson. Let's call it that. But yeah, anyway. So anyway, I'm sitting at my desk now, piecing this video together. Um, I've got old footage, but it's kind of irrelevant and old. And I'm just going to throw that away and use this. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe. Be safe out there. Enjoy your travels if you're traveling. Enjoy life. And I want to send you all lots and lots of love. And see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.